Hello, Coyote artists. So this week we're celebrating Black History Month and we're gonna take a look at two artists that are known for their portraits. Actually, they did some very famous portraits of people recently. And we're gonna take a look at those paintings plus a few others. Plus I have a story to share with you this week um, called Parker Looks Up. So let's get started. Parker Looks Up, An Extraordinary Moment by Parker Curry and Jessica Curry, illustrated by Brittany Jackson. Parker Curry loved to dance. Dressed in her favorite tutu, she imagined she was a dancing queen. But one rainy Tuesday, instead of going to dance class, Parker's mom said, let's go to the museum. Ava too. Parker loved visiting the museum almost as much as she loved twirling and leaping in the air. She pulled on her boots Mom and her sister Ava buttoned up their jackets. Have fun, girls. Bye, Dad. And off they went. Splashing and smiling and... Surprise! Gia, Parker's best friend, greeted them from the top of the museum steps. Yay! It's Gia! Once inside, the friends hurried down a long hall, looking at the paintings all around them. They saw prancing horses, blooming flowers, a bushy mustache, a shiny jeweled necklace, two peacocks with red eyes, and a basket of smelly fish. Ew! And feathers. Lots and lots of brilliant feathers. Hurry up, Ava! When Gia spotted a playroom, she raced ahead. Parker charged after her. Let's make funny faces. After Gia stuck purple hair onto an easel and Parker added a pirate hat and sunglasses, it was time to go home. Time to go, girls. Skipping down the hall, the girls spied a row of frilly white tutus. Parker raised her arms around and Gia spun around and around and around. Wait for me, Parker, called, dancing after her friend until she froze in her tracks, spellbound. Parker Curry looked up. A portrait of First Lady Michelle Obama loomed before her. She had rich brown skin, just like Parker, and kind, familiar eyes that reminded Parker of her mother, her grandmother, her sister, and yes, even of herself. How could someone look so real and so magical all at the same time? Who is she? Parker's mother's voice filled the air with her words, coming to rest squarely on Parker's tiny shoulders. She's a queen, Parker whispered, unable to look away, to move, to breathe. In that moment, Parker saw more than just a portrait. She saw a road before her with endless possibilities. 
Suddenly, Parker felt a small hand in hers, and the spell was broken. Come look, Ava, she said, putting her arm around her little sister and standing tall. For Parker Curry was feeling powerful and strong. And even though she hadn't moved inside, she was dancing. The end. We are celebrating Black art history. We're going to take a look at two artists. Uh, one is Kahin Wiley and Amy Sherald. Kahin Wiley was born in, on February 28, 1977. He was an American artist born in Los Angeles. Kahin Wiley works are in collections of over 40 museums. Wiley usually creates portraits. However, he is also interested in politics of rep representation. Many of his works raise questions about race, gender, and the politics of representation by portraying contemporary African-American men and women. So this is a painting called Anthony of Padua, done in 2013. So he takes these modern people and he's actually posing them in a more classical style. And then you know it's a Wiley piece because he usually does these really elaborate backgrounds um, and notice that some of the background is actually crawling across the portrait of the person. Amy Sherald was born August 30th, 30th 1973. She connects her work to American realism, where an artist depicts people engaged in everyday tasks. Sherald wants her subjects, too, to become universal, mirrors of their viewers. Notable not for their race, but for their familiar familiarity. It was this thinking that led Cheryl to her signature style of rending her subjects skin tones and shades of gray. I didn't want the work to be marginalized and put in a corner because I didn't want the discussion around it to be solely about identity. So this one is called What's Precious Inside Him Does Not Care to Be Known by the Mind in ways that diminish its presence, or all American. That was done in 2017. Both of these artists were selected by Obama and Michelle Obama to do their official portraits for the White House. So former President Obama chose, chose Kahin Wiley, and then Michelle Obama, his wife, and First Lady chose Amy Sherald. What are some things that you see that are the same about these two portraits? What's something that you see is very different? How are each portrait saying something about the person in the picture? Did you notice the flowers around in the greenery in the background? Those are flowers that come from Hawaii, which is where Obama grew up. And then you have Michelle Obama in this beautiful dress that was also designed by an African-American. Why do you think that Michelle and Barack Obama chose these two artists to represent them? Lots of cool discussions that you can have about identity and who these people are underneath. Art looks past the outside to see within. There is beauty in everything. So this week, I want to challenge you with creating art of something that is beautiful to you or something that people often look over and not notice. And for an added bonus, this week I have a secret artist to show you. 
not a secret, but this is Oscar Yukano, and he does these beautiful portraits all with one tool, a blue pen. So let's take a look. Oscar Yukono is a self-taught artist who draws with a big blue pen. He started drawing at the age of nine. He switched from pencil to pen in 2014 because it gave him more control. He captures what he refers to as Afro-realism. Oscar spends several days with his subjects before he starts drawing them. Each hyper-realistic portrait takes hundreds of hours to create. Wow. Oscar also shares his progress on Instagram step by step. The end results are not only incredibly detailed, but each portrait also captures the subject's emotions. In addition to his hyper-real drawings of local people in Nigeria, Oscar also creates pen drawings of famous celebra celebrities. Do you recognize this face? She is a very popular singer. Her name is Adele. Isn't that amazing? Whoever his subject is though, Oscar makes sure to capture them in extraordinary detail. Wow, isn't that amazing? All right, friends, I hope you feel inspired by these artists. I know I do. And I hope that you find something that is beautiful to you and that you would like to share with the world. All right, friends, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.